overweight at. I'm only a little overweight and sexually ambiguous. Don't listen to that, Maggie.
Hi guys. How are we? Are we alive? It's Monday. It's cold. There's snow. <laughs> all sorts of chaos happening, right? Thank you, Tyler, for getting us all set up. You guys, can we give a round of applause to our media specialist, Tyler Dickerhoof? <laughs> He's always got us recording. He gets the links up on YouTube for you for tomorrow. Um, it's all the stuff I don't want to deal with. So truly, thank you, Tyler. <laughs> I've got a sunspot. My blinds are closed in my office. I've got one sunspot. So must be a love note from God for the next few minutes. Um, I'm happy to have you here. We are happy to have you here. This is our sixth and final week of this Level Up Mastermind. Um, I do not believe our work is done. I don't think any of us believe our work is done. Do you feel that way? But we've accomplished a ton in a really short amount of time. And I can speak for Kelly and Laura and Tyler, all of us, and say how proud we are of you. Um, from the very beginning, we wanted this mastermind to be whatever it is that you made it and that you wanted it to be. We have not, there's been no keeping score. There's been no holding hands. There has just been collaboration, training, action items, go, in hopes that you were able to collect um, growth throughout the process. So I want to start by saying thank you for still being here. You can lose a lot of steam in six weeks. It's safe to say, right? <laughs> Whether it's a health journey, a business journey, entrepreneurship, how many people have given up already? Um, it happens and we hear it all the time. So thank you for still being here or playing this recording if you are not here live. Um, I also want to say that I have compiled a list in a document of all of the action items we've done for the five weeks prior. And I will post that in the file section on our level, level up page. And here's why. It, you tell, please tell me, raise your hand or post in the chat box if you completed every single action item up till this point, because I want to shout you out and give you a big round of applause. I have not completed all of the action items. <laughs> and I know there's a handful of, of others of us. Is this recording to Tyler? Oh, good. Um, that haven't, but we've done, we've done a fair amount of work. And that's what I want to commend. But why I want all the action items to still be accessible, accessible to us is so that we can continue on and keep checking those items off the list. And when we get done, we can start over again and start working through those action items again. Because if we know nothing about this business, it is that there's much that we do on repeat. More specifically, what has worked for you do on repeat and continue through that cycle because we know this is simple. It's, it's not easy, but we know that it's simple. So if you had great success doing the Facebook live interview, I want to see you keep doing them. Collect different stories and different people, different backgrounds, different genders, different ages. Keep showcasing that if that worked for you. If you loved the feeling of presenting on your opportunity call and you had even one guest, if not more, and you enjoyed that, we want you to keep doing that. We want you to keep doing more of what served your business and what inspired you and motivated you to do more. Does that make sense? And I know again, that some of us are still picking up the pieces. And I also know that there's some of the action items we had you do, that there's more you can do with that. You can continue to progress through your avatar and your one person that you're really sharing and marketing to that Kelly taught us. We know that there's continual mindset work um, along the lines of Laura's training. We know that we can continually build community and stick around for the long haul, like Ui and Natalie taught us. And we know that our strengths will continue to morph and evolve over time and that our strengths are so important. And Tyler spoke to that so wonderfully last week. Who did the strength quiz? I loved that. First of all, I loved having the question read to me out loud. That was awesome. But it also, it gave me new, it gave me a lot to think about. And I'm really grateful for that. But not only important as knowing your strength, it's knowing the strengths of those around you, especially in your inner circle, your closest business partners, your spouse, your kids, if they're old enough to really start reading into their strengths or to pursue that test on their own with your help. There's so much value in that and our color code. So let's see, Marcel, you need to do your comp plan. Tia, you do too. Jan, you do too. I'm looking over to see. Um, okay, good. Who, who was able to accomplish everything? So can we keep the story going? Can we keep the presentations going? Can we keep the interviews going? Can we keep working on learning and understanding our strengths and developing on that? 
Can we keep being here still one month from now, six months from now, 12 months from now? I know this much. I know that we're better together. And I know that being on this team is a privilege. Being in this community is a privilege. Being in this company is a privilege. And I want you to remember that when days are hard or the no's are a plenty, or you get that return customer email, that we still get to do really inspiring and life-changing and divine work. And we are in a privileged organization with these leaders and everything that Tyler and Kelly started from the very beginning. And I want you to be proud of that. That motivates me to keep working hard. And I hope it motivates you as well. So again, I'll post that file on the team page so y'all can reference that. And even more importantly, I dare you to share it with your team. I dare you to start working through these action items with teammates of yours that didn't join this mastermind. I know this timing wasn't perfect for everybody. I know that. And heck, there were some that started that it still wasn't perfect timing, but you still opted in. So thank you. But I dare you to link arms with others and to keep this momentum going and bring others into the journey. You guys, we have all of these calls recorded. You can share with anyone tomorrow, two months from now, when that next business partner walks in your organization on December 12th, you can share all of this with them. And I want you to remember that. Let's keep using the work that we've collectively done together. Now, I really didn't know what to bring on this day. This was my assigned day to train, and I've really kind of stood over it for six weeks, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm not the inspiring vision casting Laura Stevens. I'm not the very methodical and, and really personally developed Tyler, but I know this much. We're on the cusp and the heels of such a remarkable season in isogenics. In fact, I felt that to my core. Last week was so busy. Who was busy last week starting new customers and helping people get paid? Yes, I felt it. We finally arrived. You guys, we've gotten through the quarantine. We've gotten through the lull of the summer. We've gotten through the new schedule chaos of what distance learning is for so many of you and your network. We've fallen into new jobs or different jobs, work from home jobs. So much has changed in the last nine months, eight months. And I want you to honor that, but I want you to know this is our reality and we're stepping into such greatness. There's been a tremendous amount of the workforce that has been laid off. Last month, I know a statistic I read, 850,000 women stepped out of the workforce and into their home to be with their families and their kids and just teach and to do distance learning and, and all that our lives demand of us now. Those are career people that are now looking at a very different reality that very likely can be looking for you. So I can't think of a more pertinent time in my six years with Isogenics that we need to be bold about the business and be constantly sharing about the opportunity because more people need it now than ever. And I know you've heard this all through COVID, but we mean business right now, right here on the cusp of this fall and the, and the Christmas and the holidays upon us. Now is the time to be brave and to be bold and to realize the capability you have to share that, how you can hold someone's hand and walk them through truly getting paid with isogenics and in the process, serving a whole lot of others. So I want to talk to you briefly about what it looks like to grow through the holidays. Some of you, this might be your first holiday season, and I don't want you to buy into the notion that December is going to be slow. We have some extraordinary top income earners at isogenics that started in December. There's never a bad time to make an investment in your health, and there's never a bad time to make an investment in opportunity. Any entrepreneur will tell you that. So don't buy into that story. What I want you to buy into is the hope and the hard work and the grittiness that you have to have in your consistency and to keep your dis discipline and motivation alive to really work through November, work through Thanksgiving week, work through the weather getting cold and snow falling and the snow days from school, work through all of that with the deepest consistency. And you'll see beautiful seeds planted that if they don't rise right then, they're absolutely going to be there for you come January 1. This is where you put in the work for two months down the road three months down the road is right now. Remember your goal. I think about this in December and even November, my goal is to be the one person that anyone in my network thinks about when they look down at themselves on January 1st. 
I want to be the one person that everyone's going to come to to get their health under control. I want to be the one person that everyone's going to come to when they stretch their bank account way too ridiculously thin, showering their loved ones and their kids and their family with presents for Christmas. When they look at their credit card statement and think, what did I just do? I want to be the one person that they think of and that they come to for help. And the only way you do that is to remain consistently consistent in your storefront. Now, what is your storefront? It's not just social media anymore. Your storefront might be TikTok. Of course, it's Instagram. It's absolutely stories. But there's a lot of belly to belly interactions happening again, you guys. I've had at least two or three belly to belly meetings, happy hours, coffee, you name it, in the last couple of weeks alone. People are starting to branch out. Do it with the mask on, do it outside in 41 degree weather, whatever you're comfortable with. You are your storefront and how you show up and what you say. You can, how many conversations do you let pass you by? How many things do you overhear in the gym about someone complaining about their weight or their clothes? Or, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. We just got our credit card bill. My husband's been furloughed still and we don't know what to do. How many erroneous conversations do you hear that you ignore, that you don't speak up? One of the greatest things I did for myself in my business probably three or four years ago was every single night when I go to bed, I still do this to this day. I think back on my day and I say, where did I miss the opportunity? Where did I miss that woman in the pedicure station four down talking about her green juice she orders online? I did that. I sat there and listened to a woman talk about this nasty juice she ordered to lose weight and I didn't speak up. And that was my aha moment. Like I could have helped her. What opportunities do you miss every day? And can you look back on your day and, and, and name them? Who didn't you help? Who, who could you have spoken up to from a business perspective or a health perspective or both? And that's a really good practice because we learn from those experiences. And that's what I'd love you to do during the season of, of sowing and, and planting and sowing and planting until it all comes to fruition. And I hope that that makes sense. And I hope that that helps. It's been one of the best practices I've ever done. Now, I want to share briefly about what's on deck tomorrow. Tyler's done an extraordinary job in, in our coffee chat sharing all that is on deck tomorrow, but it's a big day. And if you do nothing else tomorrow, I want you to spend a good hour, if not more, educating your customers, educating your friends and family, educating your prospects on what we have on deck, because we all know it's not going to last very long. Our two seasonal shakes are exciting, yes, but there's a lot more to the holiday catalog. For those that are new, you'll have your own personalized link for your holiday catalog that you can send whoever you want. But I want you to view tomorrow through the lens of how I view everyone in my life. People do not know what they don't know. Please do not assume your customers know that this shake release is happening tomorrow. Will corporate send an email? You bet. Is that email going to go to the promotions tab and never opened? 100%, absolutely. I still can't figure out how to get half my isogenics emails out of my promotions tab. <laughs> will your, um, will your, will, will your mother-in-law that absolutely loves banana bread and oh, happens to live a dairy-free lifestyle know about your shake? If you don't post about it, share about it, text her about it or call her about it. People don't know what they don't know. Don't you dare ever be afraid to educate and to share. That's what we do. So as hard as you can work tomorrow, please get this information up on your Instagram stories. Please get this information up on your Instagram. If you're great at TikTok, rock it out. Y'all know Kelly's gonna have an awesome reel for us tomorrow or a couple reels. Please send out those text messages. Curate all of your content tonight. I've got mine ready to go. If you have the paid version of the Penny app, you can search in the Penny app all of your customers that have ever ordered our last Mocha Shake. I compiled an entire list that I will email, text, whatever I decide I want to do in the morning to that entire compiled list that I already did the work for, that we have a new mocha coming out tomorrow. You can search for everyone who's bought a dairy-free shake before, and you can, you can uh, specifically email or message all of those customers or previous customers. Think of how you can use the Penny app to bless the heck out of your customers and your business volume this week. We want to hear at the end of this week that you had an extraordinary week because you put in the work. Your business volume isn't gonna happen by accident. And you don't wanna be the one on Thursday morning getting all the nasty hate text messages from customers who didn't know about these products and oh, now they're sold out and they can't get them. 
right? So think of all of the ways you can work tonight or early tomorrow morning for that big release. We know there's an amazing shaker cup. We know that there's an amazing blender coming out. We know that there's bundles. We know that there's a variety pack of Bia. Who can you help with these products? Please don't wish it to happen for you. Please make it happen for you. There's some really funny and clever people on this team. Come up with a fun photo or a fun post showcasing what we have, but please put in the work tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday are just going to be glorious and beautiful days. You guys, people live for these seasonal shakes. You have customers that will come back around and walk into your life. If you're, uh, you know, a, a 40 cycle and above and you get retail leads, make sure that you're messaging all of those retail leads about this. All your terminated customers, look in your back office, message them, say, hey, I know it's been a while, but we've got a lot of new things on deck. Can I share more? Please take the time to do that. That'll help you build tremendous momentum through the holidays because we'll keep that rise going. Now, when it comes to building through the holidays with your products and your own store, bless as many people as you can with gifts through your own store. If I'm going to be spending money on anybody for gifts for Christmas, it's filtering through me. <laughs> I mean, my husband's business center, it's filtering through his so that it can bless him, me, Laura, Kelly, Tyler, everyone up above. That's the idea of buying from your own store is you're getting paid to do so. So please, if you're not experienced with some of our other, our lotions, our, our um, body wash, our sleep spray, our immune boost, all of the things that can serve teachers, um, daycare providers, your mom, your family, there's so many products you can bless them with. And a lot of them are going to be in the holiday catalog. I tend to really stock up with what we're offered in the holiday catalog because they're special and unique for my family members and those that I love. So can I get a nod on those that are gonna take time to do that tomorrow? Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna look at my list over here and see, um, oh, to, uh, this week, Tyler, on the heels of Get People Paid Week that, that Tyler hosted, I want you to really think about who you can get paid with this extra business volume you may experience in your organization with the holiday release and the special seasonal shake flavors. I would love for you to comb your tree and see who is close to getting their five cycle bonus come Thursday or Friday. You can really, really link arms with downwind, downline team members, whether they're your own personally enrolled or not, and really see who's, at, who's sitting at three cycles. Oh my gosh, who's sitting at four cycles? If they've never made that five cycle bonus, you guys, that is huge. So I want you to really look through the lens of who you can help get paid with this unique and special week that we have on deck. Now, building through the holidays also can involve awesome success with very short challenges. We love health challenges on my team. I know Sonia Mafus hosts a bunch on her team. We find that this time of year, 11 to 14 days is about the max you want to run. Nobody wants to commit to 30 days in this point. But it's not too late to align one starting this next Monday. We're doing a candy crush challenge. I'll post all the images so you guys can use them, copy them, whatever. I never care when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, and see who you can recruit to, to do a quick detox after Halloween or a quick little black dress fix in December or a quick let's feel your best for your holiday parties. Are, are holiday parties happening this year? I don't know. Um, and really focus on who you can. Whenever I post and share about challenges, I always find myself welcoming new customers to the organization that are ready to start because of that, that timing of your share and what that meant to them. Send the invitation. There's not a better follow-up tool in this world with your prospects than our seasonal releases and any type of health challenge. Hey, is now your time to start? Are you ready? I know you weren't before, but are you ready now? Those personal invitations are going to do a lot for you. And I hope you can take advantage. If you ever want support or help or ideas on running any short health challenges, please let me know. I have outlines saved from everyone we've ever done. And I'm happy to share that. Now, lastly, this came up in a Marco Polo I had with a friend the other day. Um, for those that I'm connected to on social media, I share a lot of my life. Um, I try to remain very consistent on Instagram stories. And I share a lot of different aspects of my life. And this is why. Not because it's easy. Not because I don't want to totally abort Instagram and social media and live a simple life sometimes. Trust me, I go through it all. <laughs> I, I deal with a comparison game, the whole nine yards. But I want to tell you something. Now in this pandemic more than ever, but especially in the chaos of life, how busy you are and how you really have to duplicate your work quickly. If you allow people to get to know you through the forum of stories in your little reality clips, they will want to do business with you. 
I had four people who I didn't even know were prospects of mine come out of the woodwork between Friday and last night to get started on isogenics. And every single one of them in some, in some capacity said, I relate so much to your story. Here's why I relate so much to you because I X, Y, and Z. And the only way any of those women, I do not know them. The only way any of them can say that is because I live my life out loud on social media and I allow people to get to know me, my kids, my husband, my dog, my chronic back pain, my fitness, whatever, whatever makes you, you, will you write it down? Will you share it? Will you showcase it and get in a methodical rhythm of, gosh, I haven't showed a shake in seven days. Let's do it. Gosh, I haven't talked about the money in, in nine days. It's time. Gosh, you know, oh my gosh, people love my dog. They write me a thousand stories over about my my dog. So I keep posting about them. Oh, people love what I say about parenting. It allows them to relate to you. And if there's one golden rule in business for you to ever know, it's that people do business with whom they know and trust. Are you allowing your network to get to know you? And I mean, your network at large. I don't mean your neighbor. I don't mean your bestie from elementary school, your network at large. Are you allowing them to get to know you? You guys being consistent and brave and open on social media has done nothing but bless my life and my organization. And I promise if you're intentional about it, it will do the same for you. I don't mean pausing and interrupting your life every five minutes to get a story up. I did that. Who's done that? Oh, oh, cute picture girls. Take a picture. And then you spend five minutes getting the right font and the right color. I don't mean that. I capture content whimsically all day long and I bulk upload to my stories. I haven't posted any today, but I have a whole bunch to put on later when I have a minute. If you can get in the rhythm of doing that, it doesn't have to interrupt your day and it can take a total of five to six minutes. What will allow your network at large to get to know you? What will it take? And if you can do nothing else through this holiday season, I hope that you can do that. You can unapologetically be you on your stories, on your reels, on your you know, Facebook or Instagram stories. And here's why. If you haven't ever thought about this before, people get to know and, and choose to watch you on those stories, right? Your news feed's arbitrary. When you're scrolling through that, you're gonna see the same person 20 times over, same 50 ads, 20 times over. What product should I say out loud right now to see if y'all get it on your Instagram feeds later? <laughs> um, but stories is a choice. They're choosing to click on that bubble and to see what you're doing with your day. They're choosing to come back 12 hours later or they're choosing not to watch you at all. But you can be unapologetically you, unapologetically passionate about network marketing, about our products, about your shake, because they're choosing to be there. Does that make sense? It's such a powerful place for content compared to posts. That pendulum has swung so far to the other side in the last few years. I always encourage neutrality more than ever right now. Be true to your heart, but neutrality is going to be a place of peace and positivity and light. There is so much turmoil on social media right now that it's a breath of fresh air when you just get some positivity or some neutrality. So consider that as well. So I've jumped all over the place, but I want you to know this. Building through the holidays is possible. It can be fruitful and it is real. It does not have to take eight hours every day, but it does have to take consistency. What is your consistency? Is it 30 minutes? Is it 90 minutes? Is it four full hours? Probably like some of us on this Zoom get to give. Is it a commitment to showing your life on stories and social media and allowing your network to get to know you and trust you and want to do business with you? Are you putting yourself out there enough and sharing the gift Isogenics has given you? I had someone who makes, and I won't say her name, but makes multiple, multiple six-figure income. They live in a very expensive part of the state, or excuse me, not state, a country, and their lives are hard right now because they're working from home, kids are at home, they make really great money, but they live with a really high cost of living. And I quote, the $200 she earned in her cycle pay last week changed everything for her and her family. And it could not have come at a better time. Would you ever imagine that a friend of yours who makes multiple six figures needed that $200? You guys, it is so real and it is so there. So be the person that gives that gift this season more than any.
back to our list. Will you share the, the seasonal products in the holiday catalog tomorrow? Will you partake in ordering them and being passionate and excited about them? Will you consider doing a drawing? One of the best ways to really uh, to grab new prospects you weren't even know on your radar is to offer like, you know, put a, a high five hand or whatever on this post if you want in the drawing. I'm giving away one of our plant-based shakes. Um, I'm going to draw one name or put it in your stories, or I'm going to send out five samples of our sample packs. Who would be interested? First five to respond. There's great ways you can recruit really new names and people that are watching you by doing simple things like that. If you're at a place to be able or want to make that investment. Okay. Um, it's not bribing. Please do not say if you enroll with me, you're getting a whole plant-based shake. I don't want you saying anything non-compliant, but if you're willing to do a giveaway, that can be really fun and it can be a great way to bring new people into your life, okay? Um, are there any questions before I close out? I wanted really hard to keep this at 30 minutes. Tyler, Kelly, Laura, do you guys have anything to add to this incredible group of humans who's really stayed the course the last six weeks? And unmute yourself if you have any questions, team. I'll look in the question box. We have a lot of shy people. Any questions? Six weeks did fly by. I will totally agree, you guys. What time is the shake release? Tyler, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they're almost always right around 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 9 a.m. in the East. Tyler may or may not know, but he can correct me if I'm wrong. They're usually pretty early. Please give grace if the system gets overloaded. If you have customers texting you and saying, oh, I can't get in or, oh, it's super slow, give grace, be positive, be like, I know it's such a big morning, stay the course, you'll get through, right? No negativity. Can we do the six weeks again and again, Danielle? Yes, okay, so we're in discussion, you guys, we don't know what's next and we would love opinions. If you would post on the Level Up Mastermind Facebook group what you want to be next, we would love to hear it. Okay, we're actually, on position. that, on that. <laughs> Um, Who's there? Laura. Hi. Hey, it's Laura. Sorry. Hi. I was trying to get into the light. Um, I'm hiding in my bedroom on the call. Lynn, thank you so much. But I wanted to add really quick. I think what we're going to do is look for a survey monkey coming. Um, I think that'll be the best way since there are so many of you to just gather your thoughts and your feedback. We, uh, you know, this is an idea that I came up with after watching all of these different masterminds and things happening um, and thinking, gosh, there's so much that we could give you guys. We wanted you to commit. We wanted those that were serious and we want to take this to the next level. So we have something fun coming up. Um, but we also want to see who really committed, who was here and showed up to every call, who did every task. So out of true honesty, we are going to post um, something and I want you to respond if that was you. No, it is okay if that was not your story this time. That doesn't mean anything, but we just kind of want to know who really committed um, and how that worked. And then we're going to send out a survey monkey. Um, I, I think we'll probably post a link there for you guys to just fill out to see how this helped you, what you liked the most. And I know that there were a lot of people that were thinking, gosh, darn it, I wish I could be a part of it. Or you might be thinking, oh, I wish this teammate could have joined, or maybe someone joined in the last few weeks, or somebody is ready to jumpstart again and they're ready. Ready. So we will be coming back with more for you. Stay tuned. I just wanted to add that in. So thank you guys so much. And Lynn, you're amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you. No, thank you, Laura, for adding that in. I really appreciate it. We've been, um, the four of us trying to powwow and well, you know, life chaos. So I love it. There will be more. We're not closing down that group or that page at all anytime soon. Um, I thumbed through the chat right there and I want to repeat, Tyler posted this a couple of times. If you didn't see it, that this is the largest supply they've had of seasonal shakes in a long while, or maybe ever. Um, so please don't be a frantic mess tomorrow morning. <laughs> Focus very much on sound customer care. Um, and thank you, Tyler. Oh, ever. Awesome. That's such good. We have such good intel with Tyler on the fab. Thank you so much. Um, Tyler, someone's asking how many Bias are in the variety pack. That's a great nine, nine, no, six, six in the variety pack. That would be a great giveaway or raffle as well. Two of each. Thanks, Tyler. And then um, there's one other question in here. Let me go back. Mm, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, someone asked about that. 850,000 women in September resigned from the workforce and came home to their families. I read that in a USA Today article. So for what it's worth, <laughs> um, 
Two more comments here. What about Canada? Uh, there is very, there's some very big specifics. I will type all that I know about the products in the seasonal shake release in the level at mastermind. Cause some stuff is unique to Canada. Yes. They are getting a collagen bone broth, right? Tyler. And um, I don't believe the BS sampler is available in Canada. I'm pretty sure. So with that, I want to leave you guys with this thought. Um, I, I want to leave you with much gratitude. We are all so blessed and fortunate with the time that you gave this last six weeks and what you continually pour into the team. Thank you for showing up for every minute you gave your business the last six weeks. We honor, we see you, and we recognize you. There has been no one keeping score. There has been no one keeping tabs. We are not in this to be anyone's bosses. We're in this to help one another grow this team and just be advisors and mentors in any capacity, big or small. So I want you leaving this call tonight with zero guilt. But if you honestly fell short to your own self in the last six weeks, I want you just to think about that. Let's, let's note that and let's move on with grander intention or higher motivation or better discipline, whatever you need for the next six weeks. We want you to find that and be true and honest. I know absolutely where I fell short the last six weeks and I'm not afraid to admit it to myself, but please do that. But this is what I want you to know most. You have everything that you need to do well in this. You have everything. You have everything at your fingertips. We have everything from Isagenix. You have everything from the leaders in this team. You have the support. You have it within you. So please remember that as you step into this new day tomorrow and what the weeks to come are going to bring. We are always here for you. And I promise to get all of that information I mentioned up on the Level Up Mastermind page. We're always just a quick message away, you guys. So thank you, Tyler, Kelly, Laura, big hugs and big thank yous for curating this and making this such an amazing space the last six weeks. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Lynn. You're amazing. That was incredible.